Hey fellow Bag Dare Boyers, Nick here. Today I'm going to be making a PVC slingshot. This is pretty much the same as the other slingshot I showed you guys before. That it can be used you know, as a regular slingshot. You can also shoot arrows out of it. So, what you're going to need to start is a 1 inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. I'm using conduit just because I like this gray color. I don't need to paint it afterwards. Um, it can get scratched. It's not going to get scratched up or really messed up because the color is part of the pipe. This doesn't need to flex. In fact, it shouldn't flex at all. So that's not a big problem. You know, it's not a performance problem or anything. What you're going to need to do is measure in two and a half inches. So once you've done that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting from the end down to this two and a half mark. And we're going to make sure that it's centered so that we basically cut this top section into two halves. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you what that looks like. So here it is, cut in half. Now what we're going to do is we're going to heat this top section up and separate these to make our forks. And then we're going to be heating up and forming the handle. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Here's the pipe. I've got it in a heating trough just to make this a little faster. So what you're going to need to do is just heat up this top section. And once this is hot enough, it'll actually start to curl inward. So we'll go from there. So here we go. All right. Now that it's hot enough, what you want to do is press the pipe together and then you're also going to want to pull pull these two sides apart so right now because it's really warm it won't really stay but you will just want to start pulling this pulling the two sides apart as much as you can and it'll start to set all right so now that it's pretty much set this is what it looks like. So we're just going for a simple Y shape. Now what you want to do is figure out which side you want to be the front or the back. Simply I'm just going to take one side and make it the front. So let's just say this will become the front. This will be the back. What we're going to do is heat up just the very tips and then we're going to smash the tip but make sure that it's angled down toward the front. I'll show you what that looks like. Right, here it is. So now what we're going to do is shape the handle. Alright, now we're going to be working on the grip. Basically we're going to heat this up and then hold on to it and just grip it till it conforms to my hand. So I'm going to do that real quick. <laughs> Alright, so the pipe is now hot. So I take my towel, wrap it around, try to get just one layer, and then I just hold on to this the way I would grip it normally just to get a nice comfortable grip making sure that the forks are in line with my grip and with my body if I were aiming this. You just hold on to it. You may need more insulation than this because this pipe is very very hot. You just hold on to it until your hand sets. So once it sets, once it cools, I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, so here it is right now. You can see the grip is fairly subtle, but this section really fits well into my palm. And my fingers come around and they fill this grooves right here. The thumb comes over. So this is really good for a hammer style grip. Doesn't twist in the hand. Very solid grip. Now, 
we're just going to close off the bottom here. So I'm going to heat this up and just pinch it. It's really simple. Now it's soft enough, you just go ahead and you just want to pinch this bottom shut. Alright, so here we go. So here's the final shape of the slingshot. So it sits really nicely in the hand. Now what we're going to do is work on the forks here so that we can attach a band. 